Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching, if you share this video on my channel and help support the awesome bands I feature, and today I'm here with Megatronics. How you guys doing today? Hey, how you doing? What's up, man? It's a lot better in the van. Yeah, a little bit different. It's awesome to have you here at the very first Discovering Bands Live. First time you guys are playing New Jersey. It's awesome that you made the trip up here. And uh, tell us what you've been working on the past uh, couple years since we've last talked. Sure. Um, a lot has happened. Uh, we have a, Since then, we made a brand new EP, uh, Limit Breaker. Uh, it's got two fun covers on it that, that have done pretty well. Uh, it's got a Bloodsport cover. It's got a Rocky IV cover in there. Uh, we've also been playing a lot. <laughs> At the moment, we have a couple things in the in the fire we can't quite talk about, but we played some pretty big shows over the past year. Um, I'd say of, of the since we had the interview, the biggest year we had was probably this one. Um, you can probably shed some light on some of what we did. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah. Since that last uh, cozy van interview, we've done a lot. Like Rob said, we put out another EP, uh, some fun covers on them. Uh, one of them's been blowing up pretty good. Uh, we went out to the Mojave Desert and played a giant cyberpunk festival called uh, Neotropolis and they took great care of us and that was fucking amazing. Um, but really, kind of in the background, just been writing new material for a new album, uh, waiting on our dates to go record vocals for those. Uh, like Power Rob said, we got a couple things in the works that we can't talk about yet, that they are confirmed, but we can't say nothing yet. and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we've been doing. Yeah, I think uh, one of the main things we've been focusing on uh, is we're we're taking part in a, in a rock opera at the moment uh, with the Baltimore Rock Opera Society, which is why for the past probably month or so uh, we've been a little bit, I guess, uh, I guess not completely MIA, but a little bit busy uh, building that. But that'll be happening in November. Uh, a lot of cool people are going to be involved in this really big, big, massive event. It's actually, it's actually a kaiju themed rock opera. Uh, it's going to be ridiculous. And so once we're done that, we have a lot of plans for original material. Um, but it's definitely been a crazy, uh, crazy year, to say the least. Whenever I see you guys, something ridiculous happens. Tell everyone about the parking situation that happened oh, tonight. No. Did it happen to you? Oh, I guess so. I, it's been a minute since that happened. Uh, I think, didn't, wasn't it? Oh, right the now? Yeah. I thought you were talking about the guy. Man, yeah. So, I wasn't sure if we could talk about that one. Yeah, it just happened. Um, so, I, I parked out back uh, to load in, and uh, I we both checked. Remember, when he, actually, Robbie walked over to my, my car. Uh, I looked around. I said, you know, does this look okay to you? I can't find a no parking sign. There was one adjacent to the building, but I wasn't on that part of the parking lot. I was on another side of the street. And so I parked my stuff and I started, you know, I, was, I left my stuff in there because we had some time before we were going to load up. And then uh, I went out to my car to grab my gear and I noticed there was all these no parking things like spray painted all over the ground. And I, I smelled, I was like, that wasn't there before. I know my memories, you know, it's intact. Like what the heck? And I could smell the paint fumes and everything. And I saw they even left the stencils on the no parking signs behind the spot behind the car next to me where they also, where my car was also sprayed no parking uh so that must have happened after i that happened after i parked my car and so i we were not i was on the wrong since there was no sign to begin with i guess they decided later that they were going to do that uh not the biggest deal but definitely a first for me that i i was quite thorough i looked around i was like no no parking signs i've never had it happen after my car is now parked i don't know how that would work yeah it's uh what was the last time somebody broke into the try well not really broke into the van it was a friend trying to be like hey what are you all up to in the middle of the interview and then a big old fight broke out outside of the van that do you ever put that on your patreon yes you did nice well shit seems to happen around megatronics but uh you should still hang out with us well, i swear to god we're not that bad first yeah 
classics. Yeah. Like I said, something classic always happens when these guys are around. Yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> I was like chilling before the show. Relaxing. Now, if uh, people want to find you online, look you up, get your music, how do they do that? Uh, so we got a couple websites. Uh, we have Megatronics Official, I believe is the name of our YouTube channel. Uh, and we have Megatronics Music, which is our Instagram. Twitter, right, Twitter. Official is also Instagram. So Megatronics Official's Instagram, Megatronics Official's YouTube. Megatronics Music is Twitter because they have a, a limit on the uh, on the characters on the name. Uh, so those are the main ways to find us. You can also see, find us on Spotify, um, Apple Music, all those things. Uh, I think that covers everything. Megatronics, Megatronics.bandcamp.com. Yeah, of course, Bandcamp too. Also, you can also find us. I believe we have a merch store online. I believe that's what's Etsy. Yeah, it's a it's an Etsy store. Just uh, search Megatronics merch. We got all kinds of good stuff on there. We have fucking yoga pants. Like, come on. Yeah, we got a lot on there. Awesome. Well, it was great having you play and uh, talking with you and everybody. Look them up. <laughs>